Hi, this is Barry Enerson from the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room. It is Monday, April the 20th. This is the address I get into the room, and you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. All right, let's take a look at some of the trades that I did today. Actually, today was not a great day for me. I actually had quite a few losers, uh, not... not uh, not uh, devastating losses or anything, but when I look at it, I had one, two, three, four losers. I had one, two, three winners. But the one winner probably made made up for uh, most of those losses. So let's just take a look at uh, some of the things that I did. Uh, Icon was the uh, first one. And Icon, this was one, of course, that we had seen in the pre-market and it had been beaten up badly. And... You know, here here is where the market opened, and Icon was is still down five dollars. And so this was one we were trying to play for a potential reversal. You can see it is still on, it's still on my my reversal list, uh, down five dollars and seventy two cents. And I just we just well it just didn't work uh, flat out. I mean here's where it looked like it was going to stop, uh, twenty seven twenty three. Uh, it popped up through here i took the trade when it finally went through 28 thought well okay maybe uh through the whole number i took it at 28 29 but then i exited right here at uh luckily at 28 17 because it just really continued down after that so but this is definitely one i'm going to watch for the uh, balance of the week for sure because that's a that's going to be a big gap to fill and I have to see what happens with that one. So that's definitely going to be on my watch list for tomorrow and maybe for the next couple of days. Now, the one that uh, sort of saved me today was uh, N -Y whoops, X. N -Y well, got to be able to type N Y M X. What's going on here? <laughs> what am I doing? N Y M X. There we go. So. All right, now before we take a look at how I actually traded it today, I have to take a look at the daily chart because that's what I did quickly before, uh, as I was getting this volume alert. And you can see here that this is, I think, April 1st and this is April 2nd. And it had uh, a big, big volume day right here on the 2nd. Reached a high of almost uh, $2 before it, uh, it's been basically on a 10-day decline. And now look at this volume right here. The market still has an hour and a half or so to go. Uh, this was about 20 million, so it's half of that. But you see, this to me was kind of the key. This is the pullback, uh, but it's on very low volume, comparatively low volume. And you know, you wouldn't. What you wouldn't have wanted to see is like literally the next day, another 10 million uh, uh, share day, and just collapse right back to where it started. So this was a low volume pullback. And then today we see that the buyers have stepped back in. I have no idea why today, um, but you know, what happened is that I received a volume alert right here. You see this volume candle right there. And so this is what got me in. But as I say, when I received the alert, I quickly looked at the daily and I thought, okay, the buyers are taking over today. So I took the trade at $1.44, exited uh, some at 170, some at 160, and I don't have it marked here, but I think the, uh, the balance was about 155 right here. So, but this has to be watched. Uh, you know, we'll see if, it, I, I think the key is if it can break $2. I think the high here is $1.94. So if it can break $2, uh, who knows where it could go. So I'm gonna definitely watch this one tomorrow and, and for the next few days. Uh, T-Z-O-O, -O. there's another one that didn't work. Let's get onto the five minute candle. And this one came from the let's see where did i get uh, tzu oh yeah um yeah this is sort of a mixed bag today this came from the 30 minute opening range break and this is where the alert actually i was a little bit late on it was 1334 so the alert was was right right around here and i was a little bit late on it um actually it would have been right here watch the pullback that that's right i watched the pullback on it and decided to take the trade right here at 1348 popped up a little bit for me it looked like it was going to keep going 1360 but then it really collapsed on me and i was again kind of fortunate to get out here at 1332 from 1348 uh because i mean look it really uh, down to 1316 so uh you know it just didn't work um Let's see, V-I-R-T, yeah, V-I-R-T, yeah, that didn't work either. Uh, it looks like it's probably working now. This is one, this was a, uh, I believe it is a, um, 
yeah, I was away on Friday, so it had its uh, IPO on Friday. And so when I, uh, I actually had this one uh, uh, thumbnailed, I didn't trade on Friday, but I guess on Thursday, I was anticipating that it might start trading on Thursday. So I had it thumbnailed. So it, I was, I was really attracted to this pattern right here. I mean, look, look how steady it was right at $23. And so I was looking for any kind of a break over 23. And I finally took the trade right here at, uh, what's that? 23.22. And it did get as high as uh, 23.28 and uh, up to here at 20, uh, what's that? It's hard to see here at 23.29. So nothing fantastic. And then, but as it started coming down again, I just decided to get out of the trade. And so I took a loss on this one uh, from 23.22 down to 23.12. Uh, pop bounced around this area. Didn't really think too much of it. And I noticed, you know, it did have a nice pop up here, which I completely missed, but it was pretty erratic. The spread wasn't great and all. So I, and which, which is pretty typical of, of a second day uh, of a stock that is only trading for its second day. I mean, it's very difficult. This is actually what, what attracted me to it because it for a, for a stock that had traded uh, for its second day, it had based so beautifully here. And so it just looked like it had to, you know, bounce off fairly well, considering that in the, in the, uh, uh, I think this is uh, this is 9:30. It popped up to 24.87. So boy, I mean, it could have even if it got half through that, it would have been uh, wonderful. But anyway, it didn't happen. ENVA. Now ENVA. This is a. Let's see. I hope it's still here. Let's take a look here. This came from this option list. Um, do I still? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So ENVA. Th now this is a. You can, you can get this list from our channel bar on the um, the options channel bar. And I've just taken one of the top lists from there and I've put it into my um, into my layout. And I made a, I've made a couple of uh, small adjustments, but ENVA was appearing on this earlier in the day. And so I ended up taking the trade when it broke through 20, took the trade right here at uh, 2020, uh, exited on the first pop up to 2038. And one of the reasons I did this is that I was noticing that I wasn't getting a lot of follow throughs in the things that I was uh, uh, looking at. And so, you know, I just didn't want to ha be completely shaken out again on, on the trade. So I took out at actually 2038 and 2033, came back down here. Uh, you know, it did pop back up again. This was a spready one, but it's all over the place. So, I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, cry about not, not getting the, uh, the, the high here because again it was a very spready one and uh, was, wasn't easy to to get into this one but uh, definitely interesting uh, to to as a top list to watch this one one that I missed let's see if it's <clears throat> excuse me still here uh, was let's see I'm just gonna put the uh, video on pause for a second hi <clears throat> excuse me yeah I'm not quite sure why uh, FM SA is not on this list anymore. Obviously, one of the filters is not, um, uh, it's not uh, meeting the objective because this was at the top for a long time uh, for me. And you see that it had this huge base right here. And then to be honest, I just lost sight of it. I just didn't think it was going to move. Uh, but, you know, was, uh, as I said in the room, it had based around 9.13. Well, it's about 9.15. And then it now it popped up and it got as high as uh, 9.49. I did post this link in the room. If you want the link, you can uh, just email me at the, uh, I'll, you know, at the end. I'll, I'll uh, in fact, I'll do it right now in case I forget. You can just email me here uh, or sorry, here at uh, info at trade-ideas.com and I can send you the link for this. But I have to tell you, if you just open up the channel bar, um, I believe this is what it's called moving higher with unusually strong option volume. So uh, you don't need me for it. I have made a couple of uh, minor minor adjustments, but uh, that's okay. You can uh, you can get it from uh, from the channel bar. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to start really watching these. It, it definitely looks like it's a good watch list anyway, just to keep track of some of these uh, ones that have very unusual volume. And let's see the last one. Ah, oh, yeah, Disney. Ah, Disney worked. But I mean, it was a high price stock. And so, you know, I, I wasn't going to get that much out of it. But um, somebody asked me how I got it. Well, there, there it is. Right there, a huge volume came into Disney. And what I really liked about it, look at the low here is 107.97. And I took the trade right here at 108.07. So literally, I had a 10 cent stop on a 100 dollar plus stock which is uh, really excellent so 
I took the trade right here at 108.07 and I sold some right here at 108.28 and the balance at 108.22. So I mean, not, nothing fantastic on a percentage basis, of course. But I mean, again, when you when I see some volume like this, I mean, there's got you'd like to think there's something up. I mean, sometimes it's just a big cross and nothing happens. But I always like to see these that uh, don't move on, on the big volume and just kind of track them later. And uh, anyway, it was just very, very attractive with the very very tight stop for an expensive stock. Uh, of course, I was hoping that maybe get up to here anyway. I was expecting some resistance at 108.50, but anyway, it, uh, it it turned out to be a not, not a bad little trade. All right, well, that's it for today. And let's see, uh, just want to bring back NYMX and see what ha what is happening here, okay. Uh, we'll watch this, but it's going, to, it's going to have to break through two for me. And then, of course, ICON, uh, I-C-O-N. This is just, let's see if we take a look at the um, daily chart. Sorry, four-hour chart. Sorry, the daily chart. Um, you know, obviously a, a, a big gap to fill. Now, the other one that we were trying today, I didn't get into. I know some, some were trading it, trying to trade it anyway. Uh, FARO, but you see, look at this. I mean, 1.6 million shares. So this absolutely has to be watched. It doesn't trade very much usually. I mean, on Friday, it was, you know, a little over 100,000 shares. So you can see it doesn't really trade very much. And, but I, I could never really see, uh, uh, get, get a, um, actually, I guess I did trade this. So what am I saying? I was in at 47.29 and out at 47.08. I forgot about that. I, I forgot I actually did trade it. I Yeah, I took the trade right here at uh, 47.29 and I exited right here at 47.08 uh, and it just collapsed down to 46, 46.59. That's right. I And that's one of the reasons why on some of the subsequent trades, I was trying to, uh, I was almost in scalp mode because I mean, I was just not seeing any continuation. This should have kept going up for a dollar. You know, that, that's the way I was looking at it anyway. But okay, but this has to be watched. I don't know if the volume can continue. Uh, again, it doesn't trade very much usually. So you just have to watch the volume. And and, and if you get a, a nice day with some volume and, and then get some buying in, I mean, this has a tremendous, tremendous uh, gap to fill. I mean, it's probably about $16 right now. All right, that is definitely it. Let me just bring back the cover page. Uh, again, here's how to get into the room. Log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. And again, if you want that uh, particular uh, top list and you, um, you know, you can get it from the uh, Trade Ideas channel bar from the options uh, channel. Uh, but if you want me to send you it, I can uh, just email me right here and I'd be happy to send it. All right. Thank you very much for listening and we'll uh, see you tomorrow.